Hello, welcome to coverage of this first game of uh, of the Dented Shield Season Three. Um, so I said back in the um, the intro video that I was going to, uh, I think, just cover my own team's progress, and then maybe look at one other game per week. Uh, there have been three games played so far, uh, and this was my first one. So I was playing against uh, the Chaos Dwarf team in the league. So um, coming to this, I um, thought this was probably going to be potentially my toughest game. Um, I think mostly because um, I have six players who are very reliant on the, the dodge skill to be effective. Uh, and this team has a lot of tackle in. Um, in fact, he's the only team in the league at the moment who has any tackle at all. So it was always going to be a tough one. Um, it, it didn't go great, as a little spoiler. Um, so I... Uh, what did I do? I won the toss, chose to attack because um, I was expecting to not be able to keep players on the pitch. Um, wanted to have a go at scoring with eleven players and see uh, see if we could get that ball over the line. Um, so Castle setting up quite widely. Okay, so the kick is a high one. Uh, don't want to pull anyone else back, so uh, just use my thrower, and uh, that is cool. Uh, let's have a, a look at these teams before we go any further. Uh, oh, can't get any advances or anything up, but uh, no one has advanced because he's the first going for this team. So, and you see, it's five cast dwarfs all together, three on the line of scrimmage and two up wide, along with the ball centaurs, and then four hobgoblins. Uh, what do we have in terms of. Oh, I can't see anything with balls like this. No. Can't say. I think um, I, I can't remember where Fame went and stuff. We'll, we'll look when uh, it's unpaused. Uh, my setup is just throw a deep to retrieve the ball, and it's a high kick, of course, which I caught. Um, Goblin's quite wide, um, uh, and, and my back here, uh, and my better blocking players on the line here. So I've gone um, blitzers here to go diagonally, and I should be able to get two dice on both of these blockers, and then two dice with the troll at the end. Uh, possibly even three, depending on how this goes. Five, six, yeah, we'd need two assists, so maybe three. Three dice for the troll. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that was set up quite simple, and we're off uh, with those blocks, the safest moves we've got first. So a stun on a, on a blocker straight away is not bad. Uh, and this, I shouldn't have followed this one up, so this space was available, and I could have had another go at this blocker afterwards. Here, I think, yeah, so I'm, because I know how badly this game went, I'm looking for things to improve on. And um, sticking all these players out here against the team who are better at blocking than me is a place I'm going wrong straight away. Um, but knockout of a hobgoblin early is not bad. And then because I was doing too much following up here, I couldn't get three dice on that that blocker. But that was all right anyway. And then just spreading out here. Although that's because I'm yeah because I have straight for two players here. I've left because well, I can remember what happens. Um, yeah, taking one of these goblins out will be quite easy for this blocker, and then the ball centaur can go over towards my ball carrier. So, knock out back. I see the lineman who knocked out the hobgoblin. Um, and yeah, here we have. Yeah, that goblin down. <clears throat> uh, very helpful double one for me, so I kind of got away with that really. Um, yeah, goblins, especially against tackle players, just not really up to holding that space. Um, so is something I'm going to need to look out for. They can't really be relied on for that. So I'm going to need some of my, probably my linemen out on the wings to uh, to help hold that a bit better. Here I uh, 
think what I've done here is see the space that I'm not sure was really there. I don't think this wasn't safe enough with this uh, this hobgoblin still being able to reach. One, two, three. Yeah, I think the troll needed to be one more space forwards. I think that was uh, the big error here. But if you get enough goblins together, they can uh, they can do some business. Fell dodge. Um, yeah, which is quite a bit just for a, a one dice or a goblin. Should probably have just yeah stayed marked up there. Yeah, so my opponent does have that one dice on. I don't know if they get a second as well from somewhere. Maybe free up this uh, hobgoblin too. Yeah, that's going to be two dice fairly easily. Both those hobgoblins free, and my uh, thrower not as advanced as he thought he was. <clears throat> Both down there. Um, so yeah, I do have. Um, well, I need to ideally clear this hobgoblin away, which is priority for this turn, really. But that kind of means risking a blitz with the troll. Um, I don't like blitzing with um, with big guys because, well, unless I really have to, because uh, if you fail there. In this case really stupid you lose your blitz for the turn um also going to have to make sure i get a goblin over to stand next to it um to make that a two plus roll rather than four plus because this guy laying down doesn't count um yeah so i'm looking at a goblin over here try and smash this hobgoblin out of the way and then my throw is free to come pick up the ball again and carry on down here but i need better coverage than i had just then um so plans to stand up first too So that's player in to help the troll and to be on the ball and to mark that hobgoblin if uh, this really stupid failed but it didn't only got a push though now the throw can grab the ball uh, needed your hands and is back off down the wing um, and i'm in yeah i'm in the sort of situation where all I'm really hoping for. So there's yeah a couple of times so far where you know tackles as as uh, coming really useful and um, well calls a turnover there and uh, was a uh, yeah full speech is a team reroll in the last turn. Yeah, because this blocker was uh, is available, I think they can get two dice over here blocks in and I yeah I think I need to be against teams this good like I said like first turn I need to be standing off them a bit more but I kind of need to mark them as well at the same time okay so a couple of go for it's that two go for it's yeah two go for it's and then the hobgoblin go for the blitz uh, does make it on the reroll and uh, gets my thrower down I think scattering off the pitch it does um, still lands in a quite friendly place for me and this hobby goblin can then go pick it up so looking at this blitzer making a play over there I want an assist which is probably from this goblin um, if I can 
blocks these players away from it, so it doesn't need to dodge. Control first, just to push on that hobgoblin. Following up, so he's going to be next to the thrower next turn, as long as the thrower's on his feet. A marker in and then this blitzer to come take down the ball carrier but that is my last action of the turn uh, which is successful but but nobody available to come stand on the ball afterwards goblin catches it though but this is quite easily uh, easily dealt with all they need to do is put a tackle zone on this throw this blockers uh, this blitzer sorry and then this blocker has two dice And with tackle as well. And then in the hands of this blocker. So I think I'm going to be looking next turn at just trying to get one dice on the ball with the blitzer who's standing next to him. Some other linemen knocked out all these players who got stranded back here just really isolated and uh yeah i'm just just losing players now three knockouts so far um ball center in there is inconvenient um this goblin can take out that assist uh let's take a turn over there against my block player That's a helpful knockout. Uh, yep, so the goblin stands up and troll to free up some more, make space for my thrower to come in over here, and then that does leave me one dice on the ball. Oh no, I've gone there instead. Guess I'm looking at getting a goblin over. Yeah, take a another blocker down with a goblin. I think that's a, yeah, done that a few times now. Do need to gang them up quite a little bit, but uh, you, you can get get something out of their blocks. And that one dice turned out pretty well too. Um, that should have been a blitz. So remembering this at the time, then I could have dodged around here and, uh, and had some pressure on the ball. Um, hadn't used a blitz that turn. That was my last action, which. If, if you've got to that situation, you should just make that a blitz anyway, in case you want to move. Uh, but it's Goblin tubbed out of the way. Uh, I guess they're going to be probably blitzing this uh, this blocker. So Goblin pushed aside. Uh, oh no, I can just come pick the ball up. Don't need to worry about... I meant blitz up when I said blocker. Uh, don't need to worry about blitzing out of the way. Uh, but that's the ball in that hobgoblin's hands and over here where well, it's going to be very difficult for me to get it I'm, uh, probably going to have to be looking at dodging some agility three players without dodge like this uh this blitzer probably if i can maybe get a, yeah some help from somewhere else probably push this blocker aside if i can knockdown's even better someone to give the troll an easier really stupid troll oh this goblin's over here i think oh yeah what do i do here yes yeah, so i've got that goblin in there so this one can assist um and what i'm looking at now is uh can't see our tackle zones that no, can't see him but it's three plus dodge to there so it's one two three four five six seven and then two go for it it's for uh two dice on the ball but it's 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus to get to that point. So with all those rolls, I thought it's safer to just do this troll block first. Um, but the reason I try not to do that is because things like that happen. And uh, yeah, we end up with turnovers. So it should have made the most important, the more important play first rather than the one I thought might be safer. Because um, those big guy blocks are never safe. 
and this will be a pretty easy clearance of the ball carrier here and uh, yeah it does make that hobgoblin free to move So I do have this, uh, well, potentially this Blitzer available. Um, double Skulls here would be great, uh, but didn't come off. And yeah, choosing uh, choosing to push away from the ball as well, which makes it even harder for me to, uh, to come over and make a difference here. I think this thrower dodging out just to get, uh, get a tackle zone on the ball with a couple of go-for-its is all I really had. Um, do need to. Well, I've got these goblins too. So a really stupid failed. I got that. I have to use a reroll because of tackle again. Um, but can get myself two dice in the ball centaur just to try and free up my blitzer to get him over here. Stun's very useful. Um, one dice over there. I think, uh, yeah, try and dodge away my thrower. Um, yeah, didn't, no good. I think uh, he could have uh, dodged and gone for it twice to mark up the Hobgoblin. But in hindsight, might have been better just keeping that ball centaur marked because. They've got such good range. It's two, four, six. Yeah, it can come and can come and mark this blitzer. So goblins easily moved off the hobgoblin and knocked out. Uh, and then hobgoblin free to move forwards. Is at the moment leaving me one dice. Uh, I could probably get a goblin over here as well to make it two. Um, but this, yeah, like, like I was saying before, uh, this ball centaur is free to um, to come and get onto my blitzer with three go for its. Yeah, I'll just two go for its. It turned out so now it means I do have to make that three plus block, uh, and that was a yeah, it's quite a simple takedown over there for another knocked out goblin. So I think, um, yeah, I was, because goblins dodge a bit easier, I was trying to get the assist in first. Uh, oh yeah, Troll made that 4 plus really stupid, which was nice, after failing last turn on a 2. Uh, but yeah, failed, failed that first dodge, even with dodge, so both 3 plus dodges failed. And uh, this Hobgoblin I think is free to just run this in this turn, uh, which is turn 8, so... Uh, so I might take some safe blocks first though. I think this is a three dice on this goblin. Ah, uh, oh, that was the dead one. Yeah, I knew a, I knew a goblin died, and uh, yeah, that was the one. So goblins are pretty cheap and easily replaceable, and obviously hadn't leveled yet or anything. Um, uh, but yeah, this is the touchdown I've been running. But yeah, five knockouts in that first half. which was supposed to be my attacking drive uh, so that uh, that didn't work very well uh, but yeah sort of experiencing the, the frustrations of not having uh, enough players to do anything with and that is half time uh, so kicking team 1-0 up um, which as we always say the great only one knockout back uh, and the blocker back for the Curse Dwarfs uh, and we are straight into the second half um, I'm down four, so team of eight, so I've, I'm down to, uh, sorry, team of 12, I'm down to eight players. Um, yeah, to try and defend against this. Um, which, so you'd think this kind of has two deal written all over it. Uh, so 
who is knocked out? It's one of the two goblins and one of the scaling linemen knocked out. And that's one of my blitzers hit by a rock for a stun, just for a stun. I was sort of expecting a death at that point, but uh, not to be. That's an injury, down to seven players, uh, but nothing permanent on that one. That was the goblin who was on the bench for the whole of the first half, um, so he didn't do anything in this game. A couple of dice there. I think you should be able to get two dice on the troll here. Uh, I need one more assist, which is there. Uh, go for a blitz on this goblin. Tackle again, being very, proving useful. And there's another knockout. I think that goblin got knocked out in the first half too. So that's down to six players. Uh, yeah, six. Just to push on the troll. And really, not a lot I can do about about this uh, this now. So choose not to use a reroll there because the ball's still pretty safe. I think all I've really got is trying to just get some players up here to pressure the ball. Um, hope for another failed pick up next turn, and then see if I can crowd the ball out long enough to maybe snatch it and and equalise. Um, unhelpful block dice there. Really could have done with a, a knockdown there to make leave more space for my thrower to get through. And I probably shouldn't have followed that up and kept my blitzer moving forwards. Um, but yeah, I did. I did follow it up, and he got stuck. Here, I'm just hoping. I think to uh, leave my troll tanking some of these hits uh, with the, the lineman in here. It makes it, um, it the ball centaur is the only one who's going to get two dice. On the troll. Um, so yeah, so I'm leaving them just one dice on the troll, unless I can get rid of get rid of the lineman or use the ball centaur. But yeah, wisely blitzing my thrower. He's going to be looking for the ball. And yeah, looking at two dice on this blitzer as well. Um, so yeah, leaving leaving them hits. Um, with how low I am, am on players was never going to be a good idea. Rolling this time uh, and succeeds. Pull center up there. And there, yep, yeah, one dice on the troll is successful. So I'm looking, all I've got here is two dice uphill. Um, if I can take both of these assists out, which I have done, and this blitzer can dodge and then uh, and then make that. Uh, with the ball carrier not having block, I, yeah, I should, could maybe have re-rolled that because I was in desperate plays time anyway. Uh, instead of just keeping the ball marked. Going for uh, yeah, second marker on the ball carrier. Um, but that goblin's removed easily enough. <coughs> um, that's this taken out. It's two dice on this blitzer. Um, not down with the reroll. And yeah, ball center is free to move uh, with nice big space here.
and then that is the yeah, four corner cage complete with that hobgoblin I was looking at uh, another two dice uphill there but yeah that one dice block one of my safest and had to re-roll it and then just moving this one round to give the troll easier time hitting this blocker um, but that's not good and the troll stunned too so this runaway touchdown they could get I think with the Mm, I mean a lot of my players are knocked out rather than injured so a quick touchdown here could mean easily pushing for a third as well um, because I'm yeah, so short on players I could maybe expect to get two of these back so uh, yeah it would still be heavily outnumbered Yeah, as it is, I've got I've got no one to come back and stop this. So this is just one of those games that became a bit of a washout, really. With uh, yeah, another injury there. Uh, how many players am I on now? Uh, two stunned, uh, and then yeah, the two blitzers and the thrower. Um, it's still available. But yeah, this blitzer is going to be blitzed, I guess. Yeah, by that blocker. And yeah, shove back in there. Yeah, so the only active players I've got all down here. Uh, not really anything I can do but with them. Um, but these are the three most important players on my team, so sort of looking to uh, keep them protected with the way things are going. Uh, so just, just retreating here, basically. Um, probably have not bothered re-rolling that. Uh, although it does give me one dice there. Uh... Oh, that was a blitz even. So a couple of one dice blocks maybe. Oh no, he's just trying to dodge away. <clears throat> yep, and these two on stun. on the thrower and, and yeah running in yep yeah, so that's that's two Two, yeah, five players. Yeah, had no knockouts back. That was it. Uh, that was uh, that was some helpful rolls. Um, what was it? Yeah, two threes, two ones. Hang on, five knockouts. Is that? Five players knocked out. Four there, but five rolls. Oh no, one of those. That's the. Oh, uh, that's the hobgoblin who got knocked out in the first turn. Uh, one of the few successes I had in the game. Uh, another high kick. Uh, throw her under it again and um, caught again. So one of the other few successes I had in the game. So there's some two dust blocks here. Um, do have to follow that one up to get an assist for this two dice as well. Uh, but can't follow this one up because I need two, two plus uh, really stupid. Just to push and yeah, have have very limited uh, options here, really. Um, my plan is to draw chaos tools towards me and then just throw the ball at the other end so they can't score again. Is really all I can do, and hope that no one else dies. So yep, chaos tools coming forwards. Some helpful 
Dos there. And yeah, the ball centaurs will be uh, will be coming forwards so looking for the ball. I think the one who scored, yeah, one who scored over here, so would be the uh, probably the one they're looking to to score with this hobgoblin as well. Yeah, this hobgoblin also on three points, so both looking for a level with another touchdown. <coughs> Another skull. And a really stupid. Okay, yes, yeah, so I think I was just looking at chucking it right up here. But intercepted, of course, by that hobgoblin who's uh, yeah, now one point from levelling. Um, so ball, ups, ball up there would have made them work for their third touchdown uh, a bit harder. But as it stands, they can level both of these these players if this uh, this one wants to throw the ball to this ball centaur. Not usually what you see from Curse Dorse, but... Um, the game's safe, it's like well sewn up by now anyway, so probably worth a shot. Double tentor, two, four, five, yes. Could have been probably could have been one square back and uh, still been uh, in safe scoring range. But yeah, complete pass, so leveled hobgoblin. Uh, and a, a bull centaur who's going to level in turn 16 as well because I'm not going to stop it. Well, not because I don't want to, but because uh, <coughs> I can't. And then, yeah, tying, tying up that blitzer as well who's been the only hope of, uh, of getting something there. So, hopefully pushes that back next to my troll so I can make a blitz with him. Probably to no effect. Yeah, just to push again. <laughs> Can get pretty quick turns. I think I was, um, yeah, I was looking at this, and I think I think this turn took me 14 seconds of the uh, in-game counter time. I was quite pleased with that. Blitzing out with that ball carrier, the ball centaur, and uh, gets a knockout on the thrower. Means he's safe. Um, and that's three. So this was uh, this was the biggest win of the week as well. So Castle's going top, me going to the bottom. Uh, though actually there is still one game to play uh, as as I record this. Only two knockouts back. Um, I think were well, they both goblins as well? Maybe a lineman. Uh, yeah, so throw is still knocked out. Uh, a goblin and a lineman. Three got gobl two goblins injured, one dead. Um, and I was looking at uh, throwing the goblin forwards with the ball if I could. Um, but it's going to mean probably making a pass with this thrower, uh, this lineman, sorry, because my thrower's still knocked out. Um, I didn't want to have to rely on a stunty player to making a pass because they get take penalties for that. Um, but get an extra turn. Ooh, touchback would have been lovely, I'd have just given it straight to this goblin. And, uh, and then made the troll free to go, go and make the, the throw. But instead landed just right next to the end zone. So he throw the throw the ball to the goblin, 
throw the goblin down the pitch, um, but fail the pickup. And and an extra unexpected turn for the cast wolves to injure more players. <clears throat> Out on that one. Um, uh, looking for three dice on this goblin, looks like. <clears throat> That's yet yeah, another injury. I think this one is uh, yeah, a miss next game. It's down two players for next time. Um, down to ten on my roster. I do. I think I do replace the dead goblin though. Stupid. It was going to be blitzing. I think the hobgoblin sort of to the best chance of a casualty for some points. I didn't make it, and then that's just a push. And then this uh, is the only star player point aside from the MVP that I earned in the game. A nice complete pass for my lineman. Um, just to end it, ending on a high there, uh, such as it is. Um, throw it at the MVP. So yeah, they were the the only two points I uh, I got a whole bundle of things for the um, the the cast dwarfs. So that's the ball centaur who scored twice and picked up the MVP as well. Uh, this is the the hobgoblin who scored, got an interception and a pass, uh, and then four casualties for I think these are all cast dwarf blockers. Um, but yeah, very heavily up blocked, which I kind of expect. But it was that I think. So this is this is basically one to put behind me um, and, and move on for. I knew it was going to be the hardest one because of all the tackle on the team. I was going to be heavily up blocked, but I was I was engaging them too much. I think, um, and like I said right at the start, with you know, pushing forwards with all those those players, um, I've got I've got too low armor value uh, to to really stand up to that that those kind of blocks. And yeah, I was heavily up blocked out of blocks, loads of knockouts. Um, yeah, and keep keeping me down to so few players. I just I just really couldn't do anything. Uh, it's one of those yeah frustrating games where you just don't have the players to do to do what you want to. Um, and I think this this was a really key key thing, especially when it came to the second half, and I got yeah no no knocked out players back. Uh, that that kind of really hurt and made it basically impossible to defend that drive. Um, yeah, loads of armor rolls getting uh, armor getting through, but I've got a lot of armor seven players, so you kind of expect that. And yeah, loads of unsuccessful dodges, which um, because of all the tackle around, you could see again and again like goblins failing dodges because of tack. Well, I'm not being able to reroll it because of tackle or getting knocked down because of tackle. So yeah, it was always going to be a hard matchup. Throwing loads more dice than I usually want to, um, which I although I am kind of planning on dodging a lot with this team this wasn't the game to be doing it um, where I'd want to and I think loads of the dice are from armour and injury rolls as well <coughs> um, and I've got a really stupid player so that's that's an extra 15 dice rolls built into the game um, yeah which I, I didn't have with Chaos last season um, yeah so not a great one not a great start and um, we are yeah currently bottom of the table there's one game to to, to go which I think might be the other one I cover this week um, if, uh, if if uh, if we get to it let's look at um, other results so far so this was one of the new Norse teams um, being the Necromantic team 2-0 the Necromantic team had a really similar experience for me where they are just having players removed all the time finally, finally they couldn't do much with it uh, two of their players died as well a zombie and a white both died um, so that, yeah they're not in great shape possibly even in, in worse shape than I am um, at least I at least only lost goblins um, whereas yeah a white is a big player for a necromantic team uh, and then this is Kemri against uh, halflings which I did 2-0 there um, and I think they uh, I 
think the halfling similarly yeah really struggled for star player points so didn't even get the the pass off that's just one uh one um halfling picked up an mvp uh that's a thrower who leveled and took leader um on that one well i can't think there was any uh, any leveling here was there oh no this zombie leveled on the uh, for this team uh yeah no levels for the norse but the zombie who leveled took block gives them basically a pound shop white for for the next game but this is um yeah this is the lizard men and the other new Norse team in so this was the, the Norse team that had 13 players and this is the one that started with the Yeti and uh, yeah we'll see how they go I think I'll, I will try and cover that one this week as well um, but yeah so that that was uh, that was our game today my starts of the season I'm going to have to get used to trying to play with with few players I think although I think this is I think the Norse game the Norse games will both be difficult for um, keeping players around as well but yeah this was always going to be one of the tougher ones and it didn't go well uh, but yeah we'll see what happens uh, next time I've got the uh, Kemri team next which I think will also be quite tough but there are less uh, less sort of skilled players there to, to counter what I've got and uh, yeah we'll see how we do then